Shantaram caused a sensation on its publication because the novel's events are based on the life of its author Gregory David Roberts, an Australian bank robber and heroin addict who escaped from jail and fled to Bombay, India, becoming one of Australia's most wanted men. The novel's protagonist, who goes by the false name Lindsay Ford, makes a home in the Bombay slums and eventually becomes involved in arms dealing in Afghanistan. Roberts has announced that he plans three sequels to Shantaram. The first of these, The Mountain Shadow, was published in 2015. The novel opens as Lindsay, a fugitive and recovering heroin addict, arrives in Bombay. He hires a local guide, Prabhakar, who dubs him Lin. Prabhakar takes Lin to the Kalaba district of the city, where Lin meets Carla, a beautiful and mysterious Swiss woman to whom Lin is instantly attracted. Meanwhile, Lin and Prabhakar become firm friends. Prabhakar offers to show Lin the real Bombay, and the two men begin a tour that takes them into the criminal underworld of the city. He visits the slave market and a hashish den. He meets a group of expatriate criminals who congregate at a bar called Leopold's. Prabhakar invites his new friend to accompany him to his home, a rural village called Sundar. After a long journey by train and cart, they arrive in a poor but peaceful village in beautiful surroundings. Lin finds the rural life restorative. Prabhakar's mother decides to give Lin a new name, in her language. She chooses Shantaram which means man of God's peace. On the way back to Bombay, Prabhakar and Lin spend a night drinking at an illegal bar, and Lin is robbed. Due to his fake passport and his unwillingness to come to the attention of officials or Westerners, Lin has no way of making money. Prabhakar arranges for Lin to live with him in a Bombay slum. Lin soon finds himself at home in the slum. He befriends his neighbors and finds that although they are desperately poor, they are peaceful and wise. When a fire breaks out, Lin uses his basic medical knowledge to treat the injured. Word of his knowledge spreads, and people come to him for treatment and advice about other conditions. His hut becomes an unofficial clinic. A wealthy Bombay criminal named Abul Kader Khan sends a message to Lin. He admires Lin's contribution to life in the slum, and he wants to help by connecting Lin to the black market in medical supplies. Lin agrees, and later, Kader sends his nephew Tarek to live with Lin, hoping that the boy will learn some English and come to appreciate the luxury of his own life. Lin enjoys the responsibility and grows fond of Tarek. Lin's beloved Carla asks him for help. A friend of hers, Lisa, has been entrapped in the prostitution ring of a local brother owner, Madame Zhu. Carla wants Lin to pose as an American diplomat and demand Lisa's release. The plan succeeds in rescuing Lisa, but in the process, Madame Zhu blows Lin's cover and swears revenge. An outbreak of cholera brings terror to the slum. Lin's clinic is full of victims, and Carla helps him nurse the sick. The two become closer and sleep together for the first time. Through the machinations of Madame Zhu, Lin is arrested and taken to the brutal Arthur Road prison, where he is beaten and tortured by the prison overseer Big Rahul. Cater bribes officials to secure Lin's release, and Lin goes in search of Carla, finding her in Goa. After one romantic night together, Lin returns to Bombay, where he goes to work for Cater's mafia, making counterfeit passports. Working for Cater, Lin travels around India and abroad. He slowly but surely becomes entangled in the life of a professional criminal, coming close to be being assassinated and helping Lisa to dispose of the body of a man she has killed in self-defense. Prabhakar dies in a car accident. Grief-stricken, Lin resumes his heroin habit, ending up in an underworld opium den. Kater tracks him down and sends Carla to rescue him. She takes him to Kater's beach house, where Lin goes cold turkey and begins to recover. Kater asks Lin to come with him to Afghanistan, where he plans to aid the Mujahideen in their war against the Soviet Union. Lin agrees, and the two men make the perilous journey, narrowly escaping arrest in Pakistan. They join a Mujahideen camp in the Afghan mountains, where Lin works as a medic. As Lin and Kater grow closer, Lin learns that Kater has been spying on him virtually since his arrival in India, because Kater knew that he would need a white accomplice for his trip to Afghanistan. Lin is upset and refuses to accompany Kater back to Pakistan. Three days after Kater's departure, one of his henchmen, Nazir, brings his body to the camp. The Mujahideen's position is now untenable, and they attempt to flee for the Pakistani border. They come under attack and Lin is knocked unconscious. He wakes up in Pakistan, where Nazir has brought him. Together they return to Bombay in order to find and kill whoever betrayed Kader to the Afghan government. The culprit turns out to be Ghani, a trusted member of their crime syndicate. Next, Lin goes to revenge himself on Madame Zhu, only to find that her brothel has already been destroyed. Lin chooses to leave the Madame alive. 
with Cater dead, the structure of the Bombay underworld is unstable, and factional fighting breaks out. The victorious faction is unscrupulous, and Lin realizes he can't continue to work for them. Nazir asks him to join a new holy war, this time in Sri Lanka, and he agrees. Before he leaves, he visits Prabhakar's parents again, where he notes that Prabhakar's infant son looks just like his father. Exploring themes of violence, morality, and redemption, Shantaram has been described as a massive thrillingly undomesticated potboiler, Publishers Weekly. I hope you enjoy this video leave a like, if you didn't be sure to subscribe for more lore thank you all so much for your support.